A warning from the Ogden Fire Department tonight about a popular hot spring area in Ogden Canyon. They say they've had to rescue two people this week, hours apart. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher is live in the canyon to explain why they're spreading this message of safety. Lauren? Dini, and not just a message of safety, that's because the fire department says when you show up here to the hot pots, people go around this fence to hike over to the hot pots. But the problem is when they get behind this fence, they're technically on private property, and that makes it difficult if something happens down there. Every time I pass by here, there's always like somebody in there. Some might describe this spot as locals only, but considering the plates here are from North Carolina, South Dakota, and Colorado, maybe not. Victoria Mortensen, however, yeah. is actually from the area. I know. I definitely snagged the last parking spot. <laughs> She's always driven by, but never visited the Ogden hot pots until recently. So I was like, man, I can't believe I've never been. <laughs> A quick hike brings you to these makeshift pools hot pools and you can jump in the river and cold plunge. A relaxing, fun time for people here, but not for Ogden Fire. Yeah, yeah. Kind of kind of unique that we're here twice in one day. They rescued two different men who went unconscious in the hot springs several hours apart Tuesday. The fire department couldn't carry them out on the icy steep trail. So we shut the shut the freeway down, set up our ladder truck to try and pick these people out of the hot pots. The Weber County Sheriff's Office tells me they're looking to see if alcohol was a factor in both instances. Deputy Fire Chief Mike Slater says they pull people out of the hot pots several times a year. Sometimes they're using alcohol, drugs, sometimes they fall. In 2022, someone was even found dead here. Mike urges people to stay away for many reasons. Perhaps the main one? It's not sanctioned. It's uh, private property. This fence was put up to keep people out of it. Problem is, many people don't know that. There aren't any no trespassing signs. I haven't heard that it was private property. Just I assumed that it wasn't just because there's so many people here all the time. That's why the fire department is hoping people see now. This local's only spot may not be the best spot to hang out at. It's just not a safe place for people to be. Luckily, the two men from the other day are going to be okay. They just got knocked unconscious somehow. Um, and as far as going forward, I did reach out to the property owner here. That's Rainbow Gardens. That's a business a lot of people know just down the road. They did not have a comment. So again, there are no signs out here, so you wouldn't necessarily know it, but probably not a good idea to go around the fence. Deanie and Mike. Well, Lauren, thank you for making us more aware.